Oh, look at how much spray that is. That was unbelievable. Two cars pretty much blinding me. He's just kicking water into my face. That windscreen is working overtime. What the hell is going on? We are back with some more Le Mans Ultimate gameplay here for you today. And this time, we are checking out wet weather racing in this game and also the LMP2 class because I saw a few comments asking for me to drive the other classes. So we're going with LMP2 at the moment. And yes, we're going to have rain because I've set the weather up uh, in practice. We're going to have overcast light rain so I can kind of get used to it and see how it really feels. Initial thoughts and then we're going to go straight into a race without qualifying. We're going to have heavy rain going to light, going to drizzle, and then going to clear by the end of the race. So we'll see that transition from full heavy rain to dry, hopefully, in, in, in one race alone, basically. Um, don't know how it exactly works in this game compared to like the F1 game, let's say. But let's put it to the test. Right, I've put the wet tyre on. So I assume that's what we're going to need is we're going out. Oh, okay. I did not check. I did not check the uh, the mirrors. Okay, this is the LMP2 car. Very nice. Oh, you can you can feel the slidiness. You can, you can. Oh, look at the spray. Look at the look at the spray being kicked up. Okay, okay. We're gonna go around the outside. He gives us the room. Oh, that spray off that GTE car is mad. Really heavy, really heavy spray. I dread to think what it's going to be like come the race when we've got heavy rain, but... Yeah, this LMP2 car sounds lovely. Looks lovely on the interior. Driving's very tricky. It's very, very slippery, but it's um quite hard to tell how slippery in the brake zone, but at the moment, I'm struggling to feel when the car's going to give way like that. Like, um, there's no, uh, there's no tangible kind of uh, indicator, at least right now. I do not have brake performance here, but I've actually taken that corner all right. When you hit curbs and stuff, that's one thing this game's doing really well for me right now. The curb physics is really good. It feels like I'm going over real curbs. Right, we're diving into the race. We're just gonna dive, dive in. We're gonna go in raw, pause, and just see how it goes. Heavy rain, you know. Look at that forecast on the right. Heavy rain to, looks like light drizzle. In the, it's only an 18 minute race, the lowest setting here for the, the Portimao. So we might not even get to dry, basically. Looks like I've been put, oh, I've been put on pole for the LMP2 class, which might be good because I might be spinning and going down the order. So I might need the head start. It's looking very, it's looking very misty, right? Right, let's go. Here we are. Heavy rain on Le Mans Ultimate. Yeah, compared to practice, you can, what is this car doing? What is going on? Surely we've just gone down. No? Okay. I need to follow. How am I? Ah! How am I meant to follow Lu Luik Duval? If. What the hell is going on? In the house of this. Green, green, let's go. <laughs> green, green, let's go. There's a freaking car off on the right. You've got multiple cars in the pits. What has just gone on there? <laughs> Everyone came in the pits. Oh, did like a bunch of people not put on the wet tyres? Is that what happened there? The AI have had an absolute mare here. I've got the wet tyres on. Looks like a load of people didn't. We're up to third place in class, even with that chaotic start. My word. How was I meant to follow Loic Duval, whoever it was, if, <laughs> if he just started steaming off in the distance? Right, in terms of uh, the rain... Doesn't feel, it doesn't look too different to light rain, to be honest. Although, the grip level wise, certainly feels. No, actually, you know what? I lied. As we go into this next sector, you can see the rain is falling a bit heavier. And I'm getting passed by. Is that a fellow LMP2 car that I just got overtaken by? Oh! The brakes are very questionable in these conditions. Having to take it easy, easy. Can we line up a move, though? On. Oh, Andrade. Andrade. Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. Decent amount of grip there. Oh, nice dive. No, keep it. Keep it. Keep it on the outside. Oh, we've made it work. We've made it work. We've maybe got the elbow out a bit aggressively there. But we did make an overtake into second place as we catch a GTE car. These GT, uh, GTE cars are huge compared to these LMP2 cars. Like, I get why there was that meme of, like, the, B the BMW like, looking wham in comparison, because they are actually quite beefy big cars compared to the LMP2. 
Oh. Just about keep it within the white lines. And we are 4.4 seconds behind first place in class. In terms of the rest of the order, we've got some hypercars ahead of us and the GT you can see on the bottom left. Going to overtake the GT. We should be able to overtake all the GT cars. It's the hypercars where we won't be looking to make a move. We'll just be sticking behind them if we even catch them. I don't know. Oh, no. I've gone a bit wide there. It's difficult. It's it, I'm finding it difficult to know if I'm about to unlist or oversteer. I feel like that just may be the view. But I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I saw on the on the first video I did today, one of you was uh, clowning me for my FOV. Let me know, because I, I don't drive these cars normally. You know, I've not done it on other other pla racing platforms. What kind of FOV should I be running here? Because I don't know. Um, should I be closer to the windscreen? Should I be further away? I'm not too sure. Right now, I like this view because you can see a lot of the interior as well, which is just visually nice. But um, yeah, it is tough to tell if I'm about to understeer or not. But... Right, we're losing time to P1, or kind of staying within 4.4. Let's try and concentrate a bit, see if we can gain. I'm losing time in the brake zones, I think. I'm locking up quite a bit. Can I do anything with the brake bias? There's a lot of spray, actually, off my car. Look at the mirror and the top. That's a lot of spray. And look at the spray. Look how much the... That's actually so good. That's really good. I wish F1 had spray like that, where it stays in the air for a while. And it really is like a long tail... That kicks up. All oh, right, we're gaining, we're gaining. That was two purples, sector two and sector three. We are getting better, and the conditions are probably improving as we go from heavy rain to light rain. All oh, right, we're gaining, we're gaining. 2.7, getting in the groove. I think it's actually, honestly, I just need to, like I said in the first video at Bahrain, I just need to chill out and just know that it's not going to feel as fast as F1. And even though it feels like I'm going slow, I'm actually going quite quick. At least relative to the AI I've got it on. It's all... Oh, no! It's all relative. Oh, I need to start. I need to stop waffling. Oh, this corner's an issue. A lot of marbles. Oh, a lot of marbles. No. Ah, oh, damn it. I've lost second in class. I've lost third in class. I feel like it's more difficult, though, because I'm find finding it hard to know when the grip is going. Oh! Keep it on track. Keep it on track as we're met with a wall. A wall of mist being kicked up. Yeah, that wasn't great. I actually went quick in Sector 1, and as soon as I started talking about... Well, I just started talking too much. I uh, lost concentration. Oh, visibility here is very questionable there. Right up behind this car. He's just kicking water into my face. That windscreen is working over time. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, no. Ah, too eager there. I really wanted to muller him on the exit. I really did. Oh! Constantly having to be on my tiptoes. Oh! Oh! Oh no! He was slow there. He was really slow there. Oh! Oh, he's really defending well, actually, you know. Fair play to this AI. He's actually defending me very hard. Come on. Round the outside, though. Oh, little bit of drifty, drifty. Drifty, drifty, overtakey, overtakey. We've got it done. Back to third. Let's at least catch back up to second place. We've got 10 minutes still of this race. Seven seconds ahead is P1. We could still catch up. I just need to get a good con bit of consistency going on. Oh, we're gaining here. We're gaining here. Easy at this corner. Wide exit. Good. Nice. Careful. Over the crest. Commit here. Light on the brakes. I'm going to take a wide line, and that's working for me. That is very much working for me. Oh, look at how much spray that is. That was unbelievable. Two cars pretty much blinding me. Now, this is very cool. Visually, this is really cool. Really, really cool. Ease it through. Going to just under... Oh, I try to undercut. Undercut him. I will do. Thank you. We gain and gain on P2, 1.1. The leader's 3.8. I'm feeling good. We're coming back. We're starting to cook a bit. We're getting used to the conditions. He's going to give us room on the outside. Can we go around? Long way around? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Didn't know where he was. I should probably use this button more to look left in those situations. But it's tough to, to do that and 
still turn the wheel. I'll say this though, you know, there may be a lack of feeling of when I'm going to lose the car, but it's nothing compared to F122. It's still better than F120. If you want a real good comparison, this slidiness is still nothing compared to the torture that was F122 in terms of a lack of feeling and uh, rear end just walking about. And we are actually legit catching first place. There he is, 1.8. My uh, Alpine teammate, Vax, uh, whatever his name is, Vax, I'll just call him. Me and him have been catching P1 in class. And it's there, we can still do this with six minutes to go. It has been a long slog, but that's what endurance racing is. Play the patient game and it might come to you at the end. Just gonna change this, what's the tire wear? So, okay, tire wear's not too bad, 85, 84%. That's really still pretty damn decent. Obviously, it probably maybe helps. The wet weather's been getting easier and I've not been spinning the rear tires as much. But can we now overtake P1 here and get our win for LMP2? First outing in wet conditions. Oh, he's trying to overtake a GTE car. And he's getting caught up a little bit. Can we get... Oh, no. He's going... Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, he's going to put... Oh, he's going to put this car... Oh, okay. You know what? That's clever. That's actually so clever from that AI. He's put this car in between me and him. Ah! Ah, oh, I should have gone... I should have gone a bit more aggressive. Because now I've got my own teammate in the other Alpine. He's bearing down on me. As we go for this move! Ah! Ah. <laughs> oh, I actually love it. I'm falling in love already with multi-class racing. Right, we're still in the fight. There's still five minutes to go. And now there's clean air between me and P1. Oh, I've been hit. Oh, I've been hit by my own teammate. I've been hit by my own teammate. I was trying to get a thumbnail without the heads-up display. And oh, I've been hit by my own teammate. You... I, I'm driving for the Alpine team, but I hate the Alpines already in this game. Absolute twazuk. What are you doing, mate? I was just driving a bit slower just to get a nice thumbnail without any heads-up display. I'll call up to my teammate. No thanks to him. In terms of having to actually catch up to him. Going to dive bomb him. And now, with 54 seconds to go, I'm hoping that P1 car gets caught up enough behind that car head. Because we can maybe still win. We've got a lap left, basically. Because we're going to have the lap to finish, basically. So, it's now or never on this lap. I've actually increased the FOV and I'm, I'm preferring this. I can actually see more. I thought going closer might be the, the way to go. But I think going out is actually better. But this is it now. I got undone whilst I was trying to... Oh, no. Oh, gone wide. Whilst I was trying to do my thumbnail, or a thumbnail, and we could probably still get a good thumbnail going if I just turn off the heads-up display. I'm actually finally learning how to do some of the settings of everything on this game on my wheel. This is uh, very bare-bones and natural. Just me and the car. No time left. This is it. This is it. Oh! P1 in class is going for a move on the hypercars, and he's done it, and he's got a car in between me and him. Very clever, very clever. Big dive, big dive. Oh, oh, he's slow, he's slow. Oh, oh, no. Oh, don't celebrate yet. No, he's come back at us. This is unbelievable. Gonna defend the inside. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. No, oh, 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 oh. Don't go neutral. Where's the heads up display? There it is. We've got it. I can't believe that's just happened. I can't believe that's just happened. Oh my God. What an end to the video. In the last dying corners, he made a mistake. He went far too deep into that right-hander. And we've got the win in LMP2 in wet conditions. Come on, come on. Oh, mate, I'm actually, I'm really falling in love with this game already. This is, the AI are really fun. I'm not even capping like they're really fun like they're clever like honestly yeah I, it's early access right now but if they just flesh this out bring that co-op career bring the ability to do a championship probably or i hope they can just make a career basically I, if anyone from the game makers is watching this i implore you i know you're making a co-op career make a normal career like just single player career mode it doesn't have to be fancy, just literally just a menu set where you can actually see a standings being formed over the course of multiple races. Um, because genuinely the AI are actually really fun, really, really fun to drive. 
Um, and so far, I'm loving it. I'm so, I'm loving it. We're, we've done hypercars. We've done LMP2. Let me know if I should do the GTE next uh, and what kind of combo. But that was some wet weather gameplay. If you guys did enjoy it, hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Get subscribed for more Le Mans Ultimate. Till the next one. Goodbye.